everybody. This is Jan, of course, for the Becoming Light Membership Circle. And I'm going to talk about emotions and expressing our emotions today. Because sometimes that is one of the toughest things to do. Sometimes we'll turn towards a friend and we'll explain what happened. But of course, that friend is our friend and often they will reflect back uh, something that is comfortable to hear or based on their own experience and both of those really don't get to the core sometimes of the absolute highest thing to say for all parties involved and um, even though they say that talking to a friend is better than talking to a counselor just for 10 minutes talking to a close friend it does relieve a pressure cooker but we don't want to put our friends in the role of the decider or advice person. And then again, I've taken a lot of relationship courses and they say, you ask your friends what they think, they'll tell you. And take that with a grain of salt. Because so many times our friends are friends for different reasons, but they may not actually know your divine purpose or the purpose of a specific relationship, the purpose of keeping a job that doesn't make sense to anybody else, we always must reference things to ourselves. So when we come to a disagreement or we get that feeling that we want to explode or implode, and often we implode and we become depressed, specifically in intimate relationships, I want to give you a... Um, a little roadmap here that I used actually just today that if something is upsetting you so much and it is pressing a lot of buttons one of the ways that you can work with it is to not hold it in first of all take a deep breath don't be in a rage don't call names no blaming but what you say is when you did this I felt disrespected, I couldn't trust you, that you don't honor my feelings. So you say, when you did this, this is how I felt, and I would like to check in with you as to the source. Of, you can even say, I know there's a good reason you did this, and I'm curious, and it's very important to me, for my self-respect to understand the nature of this, whatever it was slight. Maybe they forgot. Maybe they um, just just couldn't get to it right in the time frame that you had. So by giving them the benefit of the doubt, what are we doing? We're saving all that stewing, all that energy of inner pressure in yourself and that dance of, of it gets kind of stiff with the person. So if you already have a communication set with this person, that you say, you know, if anything ever comes up between us, uh, can we say, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling triggered. Take responsibility for the feelings because often it comes from the past. So I hope this helps. Uh, don't store up your feelings, but uh, say them in such a way that it is not inflammatory, condemning. But you're owning your feelings and then you have a curiosity. I'm wondering what you think about this, or I was wondering what brought you to that conclusion or that behavior that made me feel this way. Feelings aren't wrong. You can absolutely own those feelings, and no one can say that you're wrong, that you made a mistake or you're bad. You feel a certain way, and you can even say, I have a trigger pattern related to this, and would you help me understand so I could understand uh, your your inner thinking and motivations that way it's cooperative and again the whole thing is healing ourselves of old patterns holding things in imploding blaming ourselves and spending all that wasted energy going around and around and around about something you could simply go right to the person with some simple words and usually they say thank you for bringing this up and they'll say something positive and supportive that the relationship then gets back on the field. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon.